my name is uh, Ki Abdul Ghani. I'm from uh, Burkina Faso. So when did you come to Japan? Uh, I'm coming last year. Uh, one year? Uh, one year, just one year. Yes. So how was your experience coming before and now? Uh, what you thought before coming to Japan? What I expecting before coming to Japan, really it was like uh, in terms of technology. Okay. Uh, for me the country was like uh, in the anime. You see, usually in the anime, you, when you hear about Japan or when you watch some anime from Japanese, you see a lot of things and uh, it's related to technology. But when I came here, it was so different. There is some part of country who look like a rural area, but it's still a, a, a mean area. And there is some part of country who look like a countryside. That is the first thing I noticed here. You got surprised. Yes, I, I was very surprised about it. It does not look like the honeymoon. Yes. Okay, so did the opinion change before and after now? Uh, the culture? But about the culture, uh, I did not really check about the culture. But uh, one thing I noticed with uh, that people, it's that they are really attached to the culture. And uh, also, the even I I, I can say like uh, they are also uh, they they in most of Japanese people they they have some hospitality. Yes, hospitality is one thing. Like I can uh, yes, yeah, very good here. They don't like um, make some difference. Uh, a foreigner, foreigner is foreigner. Yes, yes. So are you saying like, are you saying like there is no kind of uh, discrimination? Yes, there is no discrimination here. Foreigner is foreigner. That's good to hear. Whether you are black or white, foreigner is foreigner. Yes. So how about the language barriers and how did you manage to cope up? Did you find difficulty? Uh, you know, when it came to language, the language is uh, communication. When you say language, you think about communication. So the biggest difficult things here in Japan it's the communication, how to interact with local people. But now, if I want to give advice for those who want to come uh, in Japan, please try to learn some few words in Japanese. It's very important. But when you are outside Japan, you usually hear people who say like, "Yes, in Japan you can find you don't need Japanese. You have just to speak English or." You have just to speak English, but it's false. It's not true. The people here don't care about English. Yes, they don't care about English. Maybe if you are in an international environment, you can find some people who speak English. Or if you are a student in an international university, you can find that people there. Except that if you go outside in the street or for current life, you need Japanese. You need the Japanese language. It's very important. So one Please. Year, are you able to communicate now? Now I can say like uh, it's not like an expert, but I can like defend myself. I said, Greetings. Greetings, exactly, exactly. Can Greetings. you say some uh, common words that you used in the Japanese? Uh, you think it is very helpful? It is very helpful. For example, uh, when you uh, Japanese people, when you when when you meet the Japanese people for the first time, you must present yourself. And at the end, you have to say Dozo Yoroshiko Onegaishimasu. It's very important in Japan. Yes. Dozo Yoroshiko. Dozo Yoroshiko Onegaishimasu. Hajime yes. Mashite, Dozo Yoroshiko Onegaishimasu. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the time. It's my pleasure.